for 1,000 years, a tree stood strong in a dark, scary kingdom where no human belonged. Its branches were thick and reached for the sky where a coven of witches would frequently fly. The witches were green and dressed in black clothes. Each of them had warts on a long pointy nose. Their teeth were stained with the potions they drank and the toads that they ate made their breath smell rank. Below on the ground, in the roots of the tree, was a large wooden door that you barely could see. It covered the entrance to the witch's great lair, a damp, dusky cavern with a sense of despair. Within the lair sat one lonely witch, crying and wailing with a deafening pitch. Her hair was white as the freshest of snow. Her skin was pink and her cheeks softly glowed. For 99 years she had never been free, held as a prisoner in the roots of the tree told she would never be able to fly while she looked so pretty with sparkling blue eyes. With wings of bats and hearts from worms using all the spells she had endlessly learned the pretty blonde witch could not change her look not even when using a magical book. She sat on a broomstick, laid on the ground. The lair was in darkness with only one sound. The clunk and the thump of a grandfather clock with its pendulum covered with an old stripy sock. The baffled blonde witch stared in confusion. She'd never seen the sock in her years of seclusion. She opened the glass front and removed the obstruction, then went to work on a timely deduction. The pendulum now swang with a tock and a tick. Something stirred in the witch's broomstick. It rose to the ceiling and spun round and round, vigorously shook, then fell to the ground. In 99 years this had never been seen. The baffled witch wondered, was it a dream? She kicked at the stick with the side of her shoe, thinking some excitement was long overdue. The clock struck 12 and sounded some chimes. Just like before, the stick rapidly climbed. The witch grabbed a hold with both of her hands and started to shout some broomstick commands. Freeze! said the witch and the stick stood stopped. She rested her feet on the top of the clock. 
Stepping across, she then straddled the broom, then kindly asked it to move around the room. After some hours, the witch had it mastered, with minimal breakage and some bumps in the plaster. Then the latch on the door gave its distinctive clink, and the coven flew in before she could blink. The witches all wailed and screamed at the blonde, each trying to zap her with the flick of their wand. With all the commotion and screeching galore, the blonde took her chance and flew out the door. Up, up away she zoomed to the sky, where her horrible captors would constantly fly. Into the clouds lit up by the moon, the pretty blonde witch disappeared with her broom. It was Halloween night when the witch got away. Midnight hour on her 100th birthday. So beware when talking to a pretty blonde chick, you can never be sure if she's a treat or a trick.